I've made quite a few videos talking about RCS essentially, and I, I hate to say it like this, but it's Google's iMessage equivalent on Android. Let, let's just call it that. And the biggest issue in the past couple of years, I should say, is the fact that Google has been pushing RCS, made the Messages app the default messaging app on Android that app supports RCS, and then further attempted to pressure Apple into, into adopting RCS because it's a standard. Apple can seamlessly integrate RCS into the Apple Messages app. And then when you or me or whoever that has an iPhone sends a message to their Android counterparts, you get a lot of those same features. And let's scroll down just to see exactly what some of those features are, even though you know what most of them are. I will say though, I feel like there's one clear one that's noticeably missing, but let's just read the summary. I'll include the link to this article in the description. Uh, so let's go. In fact, let's start with the, the title of the article. Apple is adding RCS support to the iPhone next year. And the summary is, Apple is adding RCS support to iOS in 2024, allowing Android devices to have better interoperability with iPhones. RCS will allow features like read receipts, typing indicators, and higher quality media to work between iOS and Android, though these features will, will still stick with green bubbles within Apple's Messages app. This move by Apple is likely a result of regulatory pressure from the EU under threat of being forced to interact with other messaging platforms rather than the influence of Google's PR campaign or Android-based iMessage workarounds. So we can take this step by step. So finally, yes, next year, it looks like Apple will be adopting RCS. I, I, I'd say that's a, a big win. I will refer back to some of my previous videos where I was hounding both companies. One, it took Google too long to adopt a messaging standard that was a good competitor to iMessage. And then two, it took Apple now, hopefully, you know, we'll have a different conversation next year, but it took Apple a long time to adopt it after Google said, hey, can you adopt this? I don't blame Apple for not wanting to because yeah, it's a business decision. And at the same time, I fault Google for taking so long to, to finally choose something that that is a competitor. The second part of this is we see what those those notable features are. So the read receipts, typing indicator, typing indicators and higher quality multimedia when exchanged. But the one thing that is missing is encryption. So will RCS messages between iOS and Android devices be encrypted? I don't know. I, I've read through the article and it, it sounds like they're working towards or will be working towards making it secure. I don't wanna say as secure as iMessage because also in the article, Apple says iMessage is still the more secure way to communicate between iOS devices. So we'll see exactly what happens, but I, I would hope that encryption is something that that is there and whatever the, the most logical form of encryption is actually used. And the last thing is this move by Apple is likely the, the result of regulatory pressure. Yeah, you know, th there are certain things that I understand from a, a business standpoint and from a stockholder standpoint, why you would or wouldn't do something. But when it comes to the iPhone, there are things that yeah, it makes sense that their pro version has that the regular version doesn't have. For instance, 120 hertz. Apple has deemed 120 hertz as a pro level feature. Same thing with the always on display or USB three speeds or a third camera. And, and there are other things, the, the latest chip for this particular year. But all of those things are housed within the device that you own. You having all of those things doesn't impact your experience with somebody else and therefore it doesn't impact their experience with you. If you chose to buy the more expensive phone, that's perfectly fine. But when it comes to things like RCS, now both of our experiences are impacted if one of us isn't using Apple's product. And I could say, all right, well maybe Maybe if I'm an, an, an Android user 
and I don't have the iPhone. Yeah, I don't get the iMessage perks. Cool, whatever. But you, as an Apple customer, would hope that your experience isn't degraded because I d didn't buy an iPhone. And that's hopefully what RCS will try to resolve. Is it going to be a perfect, a perfect alternative? Time will tell. Hopefully, as time goes on, RCS in general will get better and whatever Apple chooses to adopt or implement will be a, a suitable alternative. The notable thing, which is the least important aspect of it all, but it's the one that's in your face, is the color of the bubble. The fact that Apple is going to keep the text bubbles green is a clear sign that Apple doesn't want to do this and still wants everybody who has an iPhone to know when they are sending something to somebody who does not have an iPhone. And if there are any issues in that individual text thread or in that group message, what's going to happen? A lot of those people are still going to just blame that Android user and say, well, things didn't work because your phone isn't my phone. And that's unfortunate. And also in the article, there's a good suggestion, which we've all thought about is, okay, cool. Keep iMessages blue, keep SMS and MMS green, but for RCS, come up with, with a different color. There's no reason that we should be having this conversation. I mean, it's, it's literally the color of a text bubble. Apple is a $3 trillion company. <laughs> there are so many other more important things just within the company that we should talk about, but for some reason, We've spent so much time just simply talking about the color of a text bubble. Apple should change the color, and even I'm talking about it. Apple should change the color of RCS just to, again, let their customers know, okay, I'm sending a, phone, I'm sending a message to an iPhone. Okay, I'm sending uh, a regular SMS. Who, who, what type of phone are they using? I, I don't know, but I'm sending uh, an SMS or an MMS to that phone. Oh, Here's another color. Now I know at least there are some additional features when it comes to what's being sent between myself and this and this other person. And again, I hate that I'm even talking about the colors, but as with all of those things that come along with iMessage and now RCS, I'd say the biggest thing in terms of color differentiation is if I'm going to send you some pictures or a video, I'd like to know that you're going to receive them in in a manner that that actually makes sense. If I'm sending you a 30 second video and the text color is green, I don't know how it's going to look on your end. <laughs> I, I I I maybe in the the little uh, text chat, the little the little text box where you would actually start typing your message. Right now, I message just say I message. If it's not, it says text message. Hopefully, it'll maybe say RCS message or chat or or something at least something to let the iPhone user know I'm sending this to somebody who's going to receive it in a manner that that is suitable. So I'm going to include the link to this article. Um, and I should have included this at the beginning of the video, but whatever. I made a, a YouTube short and regular video talking about the Nothing Phone 2 and how they recently started working with a company called Sunbird. And essentially the app now available on the Nothing Phone 2, I believe as of today, allows you to get iMessage on your Nothing Phone 2, which is an Android device. Cool, great. But if this is true, which it is, Apple has confirmed it, then that's, all right, well, Sunbird's, it's, it's, this is a reason why Sunbird now will probably not be as popular or as successful as a company, as successful of a company as they would want. Uh, because, yeah, if we're able to get that interoperability between Android and iOS natively, then, yeah, there's no reason for these third party companies. So I'm excited. Hope you're excited. And links to this article are down in the, in the description.